Flower Bluff High School parents, this is uh, James Crenshaw coming to you again to give you some information today. Uh, first of all, I want to talk to you a little bit about a commitment form. Through Skyward and through our webpage, you'll be provided a chance to change your student's mode of instruction through a commitment form. That'll be coming out today, later on today. And you'll have till uh, Friday to change your commitment and to be a little bit clear, more clear about that. Basically, if your student is participating in the hybrid model and you want to change them to online only, this would be the time that you do that. Conversely, if your student is in the online model and wants to come to the face-to-face, -face, this would be the time that you would do that. So that, that is coming out this week and I want you to be aware of it. But I actually want you to be aware of a little bit more, okay? We've really been studying, uh, one, the cases of COVID-19 in the uh, area and the cases of COVID-19 uh, in, our, in our community here at Flower Bluff and weighing that against whether students should be here full time or not. And basically, if you look at grades alone, we really think that students will do much better if they're here five days a week. We know there's risk in that, but we also know there's a, a great risk in not doing that. And it's not just your students' grades here. You and I both know that students do so much better socially and emotionally when they're in school and they're connected with their teachers five days a week and things are normal. We need to get back there. We really do. So I want you to have that information when you're making this decision this time, because frankly, when we do that, because Flower Bluff High School students are so great, and they really are, around 60% of our students want to be here. And because our enrollment is really strong this year, around 1,900 to be exact, that means there's gonna be about 1,200 students in the building face to face, even after seven or 800 students choose online only. So how it looks is gonna be quite different. There'll be, there'll be more kids here and, and to socially distance will be a very big challenge. So one of the things that we have to really do is make sure everyone's wearing uh, their face mask. And unfortunately at those numbers, face masks are not gonna be optional. Right now, teachers, if they're able to socially distance, they'll let a, uh, a student or a group of students take their mask off. And that's great because a mask all day is tough. I, I know it personally. So what I want you to know is we want your student back and we want your student back here five days a week. That's going to change the way we do business here. And you're going to see a whole lot more kids. Remember, the definition of social distance is being closer to six feet to each other when you're not wearing a mask. So say if me and one of my employees were in here and we both had a mask on and we were at four feet, we would still meet the definition of, of socially distant. So the mask is gonna be critical uh, in this environment to get it done. So let me just say this too. We, we worked really hard to, to come up with what we're calling thresholds now and they haven't been published yet, but what we're gonna do is create a threshold where we're watching positive COVID rates in the high school and in the district. And if we get to a certain place where the COVID rates are going up, we have the option of going back to hybrid. So say we have this threshold and we're looking at the threshold and then we start getting to this place where we think COVID-19 is spiking we have the ability right away to go back to the hybrid and mitigate that before we get in a crisis and we have to close the uh, entire school down. So we're gonna be educating your kids and watching COVID-19 positive cases like a hawk, working with the health department, working with our superintendent, Mr. Joe Kelly, and working with other staff here. We're gonna be watching it close. So I'm ready and I hope your students are ready. And if you choose uh, to do face-to-face, -face, we hope you're ready. We hope you're ready to do that. Things are gonna look quite different. I'm gonna check my notes here a minute and just make sure I'm not forgetting anything. One, one very important thing is when we do this, you can help me the most by, if your student is sick, feeling ill, they need to stay home. That's one of the most critical things. Second most critical thing, 
is the wearing of a mask. So if you can help support me in those areas, it will make a huge difference for us. Another thing, drop in students off. The closer you can drop students off to the time that they need to be in the building, the better. Because right now we're doing really good at managing having students be waiting for the bell, but those numbers are gonna double. So that's gonna uh, become an issue. So if you can have your student drop off or be here as close to possible to the bell, that would be great. Also, if your student brings a lunch right now, that's awesome because that really helps us. And in the cafeteria, we're gonna, we're gonna be strained a little bit to keep people socially distant. We're, we're creating uh, some, some unique ideas to address that. But if your student brings their lunch, that will help us considerably. Also, it's great if your student brings a bottle. We have, bottle, we have water fillers in every hallway just about, and we need them to be able to get their own water. So as a recap, I want you to have the information that I'm giving you today because when you're choosing face-to-face -face or online this week, you're choosing face-to-face -face for five days a week. We're going back to five days a week and I wanna be open and honest with you about that. So make your decision based on your family and what you think is best for your family and I respect that. I also want to remind everyone, if you're in online total environment right now, that's not gonna change. We're gonna provide your student with uh, online learning. So if that's the choice you make, I respect that. And if you choose to come back face to face and you wanna be with us five days a week, I'm super looking forward to seeing your student and I, and I respect your decision. Together, I know we can get through this. And I want you to know, as we're doing this, every day we're gonna watch COVID-19 in the state of Texas, in Nueces County and in our local community here, Flower Bluff. And if we see that things are getting out of, out of hand, we'll be ready to respond to that right away. I appreciate your continued support and putting your trust in us to educate your students. They are the world's greatest students. They really are. They prove that every day to me. And so I'm really privileged, privileged to be their principal. I thank you.